Alrighty. Hello and welcome to the Now Streaming Podcast, Episode 5. I'm your host, Alex. I got another interview for us today. Uh, but before I start, <laughs> before I start, uh, if there are any questions or concerns about the podcast, or if you know of any other streamers that I should reach out to to have on, please join our Discord server and message me directly. That's the quickest way to get a hold of me. Also, if you have any questions during the show, hold them off till the end. And at the end, I would love to take some extra questions from the chat. Uh, links to the, the guest today, his Twitch and his YouTube or Instagram, Twitter accounts will all be in the, the VODs description. And they will also be in the description of the YouTube videos uh, after, after the show's done. Uh, thank you all for coming in today. Let me bring in our guest. Hello? What's going on? Hey, man. Welcome Hello. in. Hello. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing well. Good, good. So what do you go by on Twitch? I go by Back to Snack. Back to Snack. Alrighty. And are you just on Twitch? I'm on Twitch. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. Uh, Instagram and Twitter are where you'll find me. Uh sometimes post about just gaming news sometimes i'll put my own thoughts on things but most times it's just what when i'm streaming and updates on the stream mm -hmm. all right sounds but good i'm also on i'm also on youtube at the back to stack show so you can find me there so what is it that you do uh mainly on your stream uh, well, I'm a variety streamer, so I, I don't just stick to one game, um, and so I tend to stream, like, uh, currently I'm streaming Smash Bros a lot, I stream older PC titles, uh, you'll see me streaming Splatoon, and just a lot of indie, uh, games on S Switch, so... Roller coaster tycoon, etc. So <laughs> sure, sure. And how long? How long have you been on Twitch? I've been on Twitch since August of 2018. So not a year yet, but coming up to it. Wow! And you've already hit uh, affiliate. I did back in right in the end of November. So so talk about that. So how did it? How did it go from uh, from starting out to to becoming affiliate? Uh well. The first couple follows were just my friends and my friends and I, two viewers or whatever, just we were just playing around mm -hmm. on uh I was just playing and we were just talking about uh we were just talking about whatever just when I was playing. So now it just suddenly grew to more people watching that I didn't know. But I came to know as they came to every stream and just the, it was really cool to see people who would come back and kind of you just get to know them. So it's mm -hmm. like crazy. Sure. Uh, so <clears throat> before you actually started streaming, did you uh, <clears throat> did you watch a lot of a lot of streamers on Twitch? Uh, not not crazy, but I did uh, watch my brother's like really good friend. He streamed on Twitch. Mm -hmm. So he would do like uh, Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, randomizers and speed runs. And then he'd occasionally do branch off to other games. So I watched him a lot, but then he slowly ingrated me into just looking at other people. And I, do tend to watch if I'm on Twitch. I watch my friends that I've become friends with from streaming. Mm -hmm. I watch my IRL friends, and I just want if I'm looking for one certain game, I'll go to the bottom of the list of uh, streamers on like Battlefront. There's usually only like one or two people streaming, and I'll click on one of them and watch them play the game. So talk, talk to them. You talk some Battlefront. Yeah. Yeah. some good battle fights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, back in the day, the classic. Uh, what yeah. uh, what software do you use currently to stream with? I use uh, Streamlabs OBS. Mm -hmm. I tried OBS, but just with the donations and 
uh, with my Elgato, I feel like it's it just works the best for me. But I know I, I my friend uses uh, Elgato software that comes with it, so it just in my opinion, you just gotta test it out. I've had I've tried streams with probably all three, <laughs> and I felt the most comfortable with Streamlabs OBS. Sure. So. So over, you said you've been streaming since August. Over the course of that time, how would you say that you've improved? Uh, definitely quality-wise and uh, talking to the stream. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes I just like, just have a video of me playing the game and then be like, oh crap, I have a people watching. <laughs> <laughs> or like, so I, I try to be more energetic and talk about what's happening on stream and just talk to people because mm -hmm. i i feel like it's good just be like oh thanks back to snack for watching the stream but like just talk to them and not just be like oh thanks for spending time and money on me like <laughs> be truly genuine with them right know? right so over over the course of your time here, have you made any any mistakes that you can recall that maybe you could try to help prevent others from making? Um, yeah, definitely. I've definitely made a lot of mistakes. So <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it comes with the process. It does. Um, just don't. You gotta love it. You gotta you gotta love what you do. You can't you can't while it'd be totally awesome to be earning a bunch of money, it's not why I started and it's not why I do it. It's just a cool side part of it all that sometimes people do donate money to me and which is totally insane. Like <laughs> why? But <laughs> people do. Uh -huh. And um yeah, you gotta love it and you gotta make sure you're into it. And there's there's a lot of factors into it. And you gotta know that streaming is just a small part of streaming. So I have reached out to companies. I have to edit streams. I have to uh, edit YouTube videos. I have to do other stuff that is boring and yeah. not playing video games and it's a lot of stuff that I thought I was just going to be able to play video games and stream it and have a blast but I've had companies reach out to me I've had to network and and talk to people in their Twitch chats and stuff so it's like it's work right. yeah yeah <laughs> you got to put forth an effort and you got to have become friends with others so that your Twitch channel can grow and they can find viewers from you mm -hmm. your twitch channel so so what so far has been the hardest thing outside of just streaming for you outside of streaming um getting getting that viewership uh the, the hardest thing for me uh, uh for affiliate was getting that congruent three three people viewing congruent viewership mm -hmm. because I knew I would always have that one friend watching, but like getting, even even uh, having, I have a friend who has close to 200 uh, followers, but that doesn't mean that you're gonna have 200 people watching. Right, right. Like you might have three or four. So it was, it was really grinding and just going at it and at it. And that was probably I put a ton, ton of work and time into that time to be able to hit it. And when I got close, it was really good because I had people like, <laughs> it was funny. I'd like hit the mark and I'd be afraid to stream again. I'd be like, okay, I just <laughs> get like five more viewers and then I can get accepted and then I'll stream again. <laughs> so definitely for newer people, it's, you just got to grind. You got to stream as much as you can set up the schedule and it's hi hypocritical for me because i have a schedule of if i don't have homework today then i'll tell everybody hey in an hour or two i'm streaming but like you gotta if you can set up the schedule you really gotta do it because mm -hmm. it's done 
so you've said that you've gotten a couple donations over the time. Uh, have you made any improvements to your stream with those donations? Where Where's that money going, man? Um, yeah, I definitely like to, like, I all of the money that I've earned, um, gained from donations, I've put to uh, improving the stream. I haven't bought a game with any of the money. I, I think... Uh, probably 10 bucks of the money I've earned has gone to other streamers just dropping bits or donating in their streams mm -hmm. to uh, put back what I'm graciously thankful for. Mm -hmm. um, so I have a light right here. I have my Elgato that I bought and was saving up for and a good chunk of my cash that I've earned so much. I mean, so far was just put to the Elgato that I was already saving up for and it just push me over the edge to what's uh what's next on your list uh probably a blue yeti blue yeti yeah yeah i highly recommend it yeah i I've, I've heard they're crazy awesome so. <laughs> well that's good that's good uh yeah it's, and it's amazing that you get donations and have already hit affiliate after such a little time you know it's, it's awesome um you know yeah I feel like I'm, I'm i'm I consider myself very lucky just to, uh, just it so happened that I started in August and by the end of November I was affiliate, so it was super crazy and yeah, I, I just was lucky enough to have that all come together. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, so a lot of people want to start streaming or, or feel like they have the personality but, but just not the means. What what is some advice you can give to somebody who is thinking about starting or really wants to start streaming? Um, you you can practice streaming like you can have friends around and just see if you're entertaining. But I feel like if you have somewhat, if you have the ability to stream, to stream, like. My first 50 followers to affiliate and reaching affiliate, I streamed off of my uh, my phone. I didn't have no Streamlabs. I didn't have uh, a webcam, face cam. I didn't have a mic. <laughs> so, and in my opinion, I, I've had people tell me otherwise in my chat, but in my opinion, I wanted to get those 50 people who knew who I was, who knew what my streams were like. And then once I was able to get my name out there and uh, if they liked the stream, they would c continue watching and maybe consider donating or just continue watching once the stream builds and builds. Mm -hmm. So just getting that exposure and getting your name out there is the biggest thing starting off because you're Twitch and YouTube, I guess you could put it to, uh, also is just a huge competition. Mm -hmm. And you're, Twitch especially, because not only are you live, you're, there's other people that are playing the same game as you with just as much, and like just as much, uh, what's the word for it? Just, just flow and- Personality, so excitement, yeah. Personality, excitement everything else yeah so you're you're the you're the reason that they're watching so make it make it a show mm -hmm. even if even if it doesn't feel natural sometimes it almost you almost grow into it you, you mm -hmm. get into the rhythm and you grow into it absolutely yeah no that's, that's a fantastic answer so you said that you were uh, a variety streamer why, why do a variety of different things? Why not just focus on, on a single game? Um, because I'm not good at games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, even, even so, some games I think I'm to that, that while that's, that is a reason that goes towards it, um, there's other stuff like I, I, <laughs> Unlike, unlike my younger years where I could play hours upon hours Minecraft or Club Penguin or whatever, uh -huh. uh, now... Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, too soon, man. Too soon. Too <laughs> soon. Um, nowadays, I find that I get 
tired of games. And I'll, I could come back the next day, but uh, other than my six hour streams that I'll occasionally do for special events, mm -hmm. uh, even then I'll play like three hours of Smash and then maybe play three hours of online Battlefront 2, which is amazing because yeah. the the online is back for the original game because so many people. Oh, that's awesome! It. I had no idea. Yeah, the the servers kind of tonic or whatever. The company that made the mm -hmm. game the servers back because the PC community is just huge. Damn, I'm, I must be on the wrong email list or something. I had no idea. I didn't hear about that. <laughs> I'm, I need to fire yeah. somebody. <laughs> yeah. So. <clears throat> Let's see here. I mean, we've reached basically the end of my questions here. Um, you know, uh, is there any any other uh, words? I see that you're rocking a, a personalized shirt. There is is merchandise something that you're you're getting into? Um, yeah, I bought it when I hit affiliate because um, it almost it almost was like that YouTuber plaque for me. Absolutely, because it was it was like I did it, so I need. I need something that proves to myself that like, yes, I hit affiliate for myself. So I went on eBay and found somebody who made custom shirts and I'm currently talking to him right now about making a deal of money wise and figuring out what we can do for people who are interested in buying one of these shirts. So uh, I can't say anything's official right now. but. <laughs> But you heard it here uh, first. <laughs> you hear it here first. These shirts just, uh, I don't know about any special emote design right now, but the simple Twitch move back to snack might be coming soon. Just <laughs> follow me on Instagram. I'll announce it on YouTube. I'll try to mention it in streams. And you'll hear it if it comes. And I'm hoping it comes. So. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. Well, thank you very much for joining me today, man. I appreciate the time that you're giving me, and uh, good luck with the rest. Good luck with the stream. You know, I hope uh, I hope to see you live soon. Yeah, definitely. Um, just remember that everything's back to snack, even though YouTube's the back to snack show. Nobody else is named back to snack, so you could find it. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you ever pop into my stream or anything else, I do occasionally drop uh in-game codes for not the game itself but just currency for the game so if you're interested in any of that uh, i'll drop stuff and people tend to like it so awesome all right well good to hear man thank you very much for spending the time with me you have a good night okay all right thank you all right man take care you too all righty guys thank you very much for joining me uh once again like i said at the top of the show